Welcome to another episode of Command Combat Battle Reports. Today's board game is going to be Memoir 44, and this is the battlefield at St. Maria Glace. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, but if I'm not, uh, be sure to tell me to tell me the correct way in the comments and all that sort of thing. Basically, what this involves is uh, the American 82nd Airborne has dropped. Now, most 82nd Airborne completely was all over the place. Uh, if you've seen Saving Private Ryan, they talk endlessly about how they're dropped all over the place and lost it, uh, throughout the countryside. But this particular group actually parachuted and landed pretty close to one another and uh, they were able to regroup and get going pretty good. This is St. Maria Glace. They're uh, rushing in to try to take it. The Germans are sending in reinforcements to try to hold them off. Now it's going to be an interesting sort of one here because in addition to the para-drop that there is currently exists, there are going to be a few here who are uh, they still have yet to come on. All right, so the first thing that David, my opponent, does here is he's he has uh, four units of para dropping units, so he's going to be dropping the first one here. Whoop! So he landed off the table, so he's gone. He like basically parachuted <laughs> way off, fell somewhere else. So all right, oh, so <laughs> so then he's got okay. Try the others. Oh, oh, did he fall off? Oh, he fell off too. All right. Oh, Maybe be a little closer. It's supposed to be like 12 inches over. Is it? Yeah, that'll be good. Ah, there we go. And then he's got Blofeld's cat to help uh, with his devious plans. And, okay, so the last one. Same location. All righty. All right, so what you're going to get... All right, so you're going to have units in those two spaces. So end of the first turn, uh, David... Uh, he has these guys on the board, of course, because they've uh, they parachuted in. He shot with them, didn't hit anybody, and I did movement on the left and just got those guys into the trees. All right, both of us did stuff on the same flank. He chose the, his right, and which is my left, and I did a counterattack on it. So he moved this guy up to there, and I moved those guys, uh, sort of moving up towards him. All right, so David went in the center. He rushed up and uh, attacked the guys in there. Uh, dwindling, dwindling them down. I brought the tanks up, hit them, and had them fire there at those guys. Oh, actually, oh, just caused them to retreat. That was it. So Dave played uh, headquarters, and he assaulted into there, took those guys out, now has one point. Uh, moved these guys into there, although was, I'm not sure if that was this turn or last, and then moved over those guys over there. I played uh, assault all on the right side, so all my guys moved forward, shot up there, Got a flag, but he gets to ignore one. By the way, it's very appropriate he's playing the 82nd Airborne because his brother actually uh, it was or is in the 82nd Airborne. He was. Was, all right. <laughs> all right, the Americans did a daring maneuver with behind enemy lines. They ran up here, hit the tank, destroyed two of them, sent them into the woods. Then the Germans got, oh, and then they ran back into the town. The Germans got assault, which meant they got to move everybody on this side. So they moved the tank over here shot and reduced the, that unit down to one. They thought, ah, you're the pesky ones who almost destroyed us, but actually it was a different guy group. <laughs> These guys moved over here. These guys shot over here and took out one guy. All right, so the Americans did the infantry assault. They sent these guys running up here. This is that same unit that uh, had been the bane of, of the um, German tanks' existence. They had run around here and took out two of the tanks, run back. Now they ran out here hit the tank, caused it to retreat, and out of five dice, he didn't get a single grenade or a tank, because he had three from them and two from another unit, and all they did was they caused it to retreat there one time. So, the Germans came back with a probe, which they fired back on them, managed to cause the that, that heroic unit to retreat back there and kill off the other ones. So these heroes have managed to stay at a full stand <laughs> as much as they've been doing. All right, so the American counterattacked, which was the center, he, once again, the heroic group ran out into the open to kill these guys and only managed to kill one. If they had made him retreat, they could have gotten into the woods, which made it so, okay, huge risk now because now they're going to be able to come back with three dice and the tank will be able to come back with three. But these guys came out and destroyed the tank, so there's no more in the tank anymore. And so I did an infantry assault and had all these guys rush up that hill. And out of six dice, they only got two hits on infantry. All right, so Dave did a recon over on this side, had the guy who was on the hill fired. Oh, no, had these guys run up, fired, hit one of those guys that was down here, and I did the firefight. When had all, it took all of my guys to, uh, to shoot at that thing to finally take it, and the guy ran up there and, and took the hill. So now it is 
two points to two points, and it's going up to four for the victory. Well, it was a pretty good turn for the Germans there. The Americans started by attacking into here, almost killed them completely, but didn't quite whittle them down somewhat. Uh, the Americans pushed them out of here, and they fought back, killed one guy, and these guys shot down into there and managed to actually take out the entire unit. There were four of them, and it was one very lucky turn took them all out. All right, everything, everything happened over here on this flank. He rushed up some of his guys, got in my face. I rushed up into his face, and we just kind of traded shots a bit. He's lost a couple guys there, one guy there, I lost one guy there. David did medics and mechanics and uh, grew a whole unit again. I won't show it because then I did probe and destroyed the very, or didn't destroy, but uh, plastered the very unit that I recovered. <laughs> He'd gone up to four. I then took these guys up here and uh, killed them and made them retreat, so he's down to one there again. Actually, he was up to two, and now he's down to one. Well, the game comes to a close with the air power accidentally helping the Axis. They, uh, they went along this whole line, shooting all of them, and uh, only caused them to retreat actually into the American infantry, who they then assaulted, and the infantry went running, and these guys were able to finish them off with those. So, it ends with the Axis with four points, the Allies with two, unfortunately the 82nd Airborne, who I'm in favor of because I play them in uh, Flames of War, uh, has lost this one. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Watch us on uh, Facebook and Twitter and all that. And watch us also on commandcombatreports.com. Happy gaming, everybody. <laughs>